North County farming communities want to stop purchasing water in San Diego and leave the San Diego County Water Authority. San Diego Water Authority Vice Chair Nick Serrano joins us to explain how this could impact San Diegans. Nick, uh, you are also Deputy Chief of Staff to San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria, but talk a little bit about this issue and explain what's going on for us. Absolutely, and thank you for having me this morning. Uh, we have uh, two uh, uh, aid water agencies in the North County, uh, Fallbrook and Rainbow, uh, who have asked to leave the San Diego County Water Authority. Uh, and so this uh, detachment proceeding is going before our local agency formation commission, otherwise known as LAFCO, uh, and it's coming to a decision point here on Monday. And uh, at the San Diego County Water Authority, uh, we oppose this action. Uh, we don't think it's the right thing to do. Uh, the city of San Diego, uh, through our mayor, Todd Gloria, also strongly opposes this action because ultimately what it's going to mean is that uh, water rates for uh, nearly every household in the region, if you don't live in the Fallbrook and Rainbow Service area, your water rates are at risk of going up. Uh, and so we think that that's wrong. Uh, we understand some of the concerns that these two districts have raised through this process. Uh, and uh, we think that they need to stay at the table and have those conversations with us. But ultimately, because of the impacts to virtually every household in the region, uh, we, we are asking uh, that the LAFCO Commission uh, oppose this action and uh, disapprove the proposals. Now, there is a meeting on Monday, you mm -hmm. said, correct? correct? Now, for Fallbrook and Rainbow, I'm sure, I mean, that's a lot of farmers who mm -hmm. are up there. I'm sure that they are trying to pinch every penny um, the cost that this would impact residents is it I mean for them they're looking at it saying hey we're we're trying to do the best we can mm -hmm. to find the cheapest rate for our residents understood uh, it shouldn't come at the detriment of everybody else in the region though and let's put this into perspective if you're a resident of the city of San Diego if this action is approved your water rates are expected to go up approximately two dollars per household if you are a resident of Valley Center, uh, your water rates are looking to go up about $3 per household if this action is approved. In some of the more north, north uh, rural parts of our county, uh, some of them are looking at an $18 increase. And those are agricultural districts as well. Um, so I think that, again, they've raised some, some key issues that I think warrant some conversations, but the answer isn't to cede from the union. You know, we have a lot of regional bodies that are set up to have these regional conversations. And I think that is ultimately what we are saying, is that we understand what you've brought to the table. Uh, detaching to another uh, agency in Riverside County is serving uh, only those two agencies, and it's at the detriment of everybody else. That's not fair. That's not right. Uh, we're open to having those conversations, and, and we think that we should. What about from their perspective? They say, well, we're, we'll pay the money to go and leave. Mm -hmm. How does that factor into this? Well, that's only a covering a period of only five years. And what we know is that these impacts are going to last far beyond five years. So regardless of you know, them paying to leave, uh, the residents of this county are still going to foot the bill. Let's be clear. Over the last two decades, we have spent $3 billion to make San Diego County more water resilient, more water independent. And you saw the benefits of that uh, just recently in the, uh, the era of drought that we were in. Mm -hmm. Now, things have gotten better, but that was just, that's you know, not something that we can count on going into the future. But $3 billion over the last 20 years, this is stuff that these two agencies have voted for, have supported, and have benefited from. But now they want to leave the rest of San Diego County with the bill? That's not right. Uh, okay, so forgive me for being a little naive for yeah. this, but yes, we are out of the drought. Shouldn't everybody's water costs kind of be going down here <laughs> after all this rain we've had? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, and the cost of water is increasing, and it's not like it's it's very similar to what we are seeing just across the board in terms of everybody's pocketbooks and the cost of everything going up. And so we are looking at ways that we can bring down folks' water rates, and we have just been fighting that through the budget process. Uh, currently, we are uh, we're at a 14 uh, percent inc uh, projected increase. We are now moving that down to maybe around an 8% increase. But at the same time, we have to recognize that this action uh, in and of itself will be in addition to what we already know the cost of water is going up at. And so uh, we don't think that's something that San Diegans need to foot the bill for. It's, it's a needless water rate increase uh, when they could stay at the table, they could fight, they could advocate for their communities. And ultimately, I think we can get something done for the issues that they've uh, represented. Okay, so once again, there is a meeting that is going on tomorrow. Correct. So if people want to find out more information about this topic, mm -hmm. if they're going, hey, I didn't even know anything about this, yes. where can they get that information and how can they participate?
participate in this um, the meeting that you guys are having? Absolutely. There's a meeting of the LAFCO Commission that is tomorrow. It begins at 8 a.m. It's going to be at the County Administration Building. Uh, there is an opportunity for members of the public to be able to provide feedback to the members of the commission. Uh, so I encourage folks to do that if you're concerned about this issue, if you're concerned about your water rates going up. Uh, and you can also provide comment uh, virtually. Uh, just go to the uh, San Diego County LAFCO website and all the information should be there. All right, Nick Serrano, thank you so much of for course. coming in and really explaining this topic. Uh, it's hard sometimes to wrap your head around mm -hmm. it all, so I appreciate you coming in and providing insight. Absolutely, thank you for having me. All right, coming up.